The technology sector is one of the great sectors out there for new investors. But the fact is, if you're not careful, you can get burned. It's happened to me and it's happened to me plenty of times. And I don't, I don't want, want that, that to happen, happen to, you. to you. So today I'm going to walk you through step by step one of the best stock screeners specifically made for tech stocks. The great thing about it, it's entirely free. Hey there, this is Wayne from Bird Research. The purpose of this channel is pretty straightforward. It's to help new investors just like you grab that financial future you've always dreamed of. And in today's episode, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step one of the best tech stock screeners out there. And the best thing about it, it's entirely free. And if you hang around to the end of the video, I have an offer from Market Club, a maker of great stock picking tools. And it's a special offer just for you. So let's get down to business. Okay, so here we are at Google. Let's just type in Yahoo Finance, press enter. Okay, so here we are at the Yahoo Finance main page. Let's go over to screeners and click on save screeners. And here's our list of save screeners. These are out of the box screeners that Yahoo has. Let's go down to growth technology stocks and click on that. And then let's go over to market cap and click on that twice. So this is one of the out of the box screeners that Yahoo Finance has. It's really a good screener. And if you wanna kinda of know what's under the hood, go up, come up here to edit. and It'll give you the criteria for this particular screener. Quarterly revenue growth year over year is, is 25% and above. One year percent change in earnings per share is 25% and above. The sector is technology. And the exchanges are both the NASDAQ and the New York Stock Exchange. So we can close this. And as you look down here, you can see it's pretty much a who's who of technology. Now, what I'd like you to do is let's click on the first result. Big companies, Apple is a big company, so that's one to take a look at. And what I want you to do here is go down and scroll down. Do you see recommendation trends and click on recommendation trends? Now, what this page tells you is what Wall Street analysts think about Apple. You can go out and do your own research and crunch your own numbers, which is a great idea. You know, certainly do that, especially if you want to learn. But the analysts also go through and tear these financial statements up, you know, like there's no tomorrow. And they also go in all the earnings calls, they monitor all that. And there's quite a few of them. If you look over here, there's 41 analysts that are looking at Apple right now. So that's a, that's a large pool of people that are looking at the same numbers. So why not go and see what they have to say about it? In general, there is a between a buy and a strong buy, a rating of 1.9 on Apple, which is good. If you scroll down a little bit more, what I like to look at is EPS revisions and what earnings per share revisions have happened in the last 30 days. And as you can see, EPS revisions have been up in the last 30 days for the current quarter. The revisions for the current quarter, December 2021, is 11 for the next quarter. Up revisions of 14 for uh, the current year, which is the 2022 fiscal year, is 15. And for next year, the fiscal 2023 year, 7. So that all indicates that not only is Apple a good recommendation now based on 1.9 from Wall Street analysts, but it also means that the analysts are looking at this stock and down the road, they're thinking things are even going to be better, which is nice. So that, in a nutshell, is the fundamental outlook for Apple. But I want to add one other thing. Go back up here to summary, click on summary, and then scroll down again. And right here is some basic company information, including where they're located, their telephone number, the website. Uh, read over this. This is really some good information about what Apple really does. And even if you're just a technical trader who looks at charts to make investing decisions, um, understanding what the company really is and who their, uh, what their management is about is a really good step. So fundamentally, it looks like Apple is really giving positive signs. So what about from a technical perspective, which is looking at the chart and the price action? So let's go over here and click on chart and then let's click on full screen and wait for that to load. So what this is, is this is a one year. If you look down here, this is a one year price chart for Yahoo Finance. So if I was really thinking seriously about owning Apple stock from a technical perspective, I would go up here to comparison and click on the broader market, which is the S&P 500. And this will show you the performance comparison between Apple, which is the blue line, and the broader market, which is the green line. So over the past year, Apple's up 
and the broader market's up 32%. So it's just a 5% difference over the past year. And what you'd like to see is you'd like to see a, bit, a bigger spread than that because the broader market is relatively, relatively safe. Um, and when you own a single stock, it's relatively more risky. So you'd want to be paid a premium against the broader market to own that stock. So over the past year, that's not really a convincing argument for Apple. But if you go down here and you click on five years, you can see that over the past five year interval, the broader market is up 112% while Apple itself is up 477%. What is that a ratio of five to one? So over five years, over the longer term, Apple has really rewarded its investors for being a little bit more risky than the broader market. So let's do one more thing. Let's go back and let's go back to our screeners. And if I can just get save screeners up here and go back to the growth technology stocks and let's go up here to edit. So as you can see, we went through these different criteria. What if we wanted to add one of our own criteria? So go to add another filter. And what I'd like you to do is just, just click on beta. But before we leave here, there's a ton of other filters that you can put on here, depending on what your investment style is or what information you'd like to, to know. For right now, I've just clicked beta and I press close. And then I'm gonna go over here and on beta, I'm going to click on 0.2, I'm sorry, I'm gonna click on 0.8 to 1.2. And then click find stocks and this will refilter the list adding this criteria. Go over to market cap and click on that twice. That will be, that will bring the largest companies to the, to the top. So what is beta really doing here? Beta is a measure of a stock's volatility or risk compared to the broader market. If a stock has a beta of one, it means it's just as risky as the broader market. If it's greater than one, the stock is riskier than the broader market. If it's less than one, it's less risky. So as we said earlier, if a stock is going to be riskier than the broader market, you want to be rewarded for that. So right here, what we've picked is we've picked uh, stocks that are around the same risk level as the broader market. So if you're interested in technology, you don't have to always crank up the risk. You can go here, put in a beta filter, and this will give you some ideas about stocks that are also in technology, but are about as risky as the broader market. So in general, we took our stock screener and we found the biggest company in tech that was also had a great fundamental story and a positive technical outlook. Okay, thanks for staying to the end of the video. Here's the offer I was telling you about. It's from Market Club, and it's a set of their best tools, and there's a really great price for these tools right now. I've put a link to that offer in the description. Remember, it is an affiliate link, so if you do end up subscribing, I may earn a small commission. But the fact is, I would recommend these tools even if there was no commission involved whatsoever. Take a look when you can. I think it's really worth your time. Thanks. I hope you got something out of today's video. And if you did find value, please make sure to subscribe, comment, and like. And if you'd like me to take a look at a specific stock, ETF, or investing concept that you want a little bit more information about, please put it in the comments below. And don't forget to tune into my next video where I'm going to tackle a new tool that hardly anyone is talking about. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.